Hey guys, welcome back to Raven Elk Tech. Uh, you'll see I have no green screen today, just my uh, messy office space, uh, office guest room space. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do another conversion of this time a Hyper-V VMDH to a QCOW2 for Proxmox. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. All right guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to var lib vz and then the images folder and we're going to go ahead and upload my images that i'm going to convert that one's of course the small one so it goes really fast All right, we're almost at the end here. And done. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create the VM. I am going to name this one RHT, which is Ravenhawk Tech, monitor 01. <clears throat> For the OS, I'm not gonna be installing an OS. For the system, I don't need to worry about doing too much. Um, because it's Hyper-V, it's an IDE. So, and then the size of my drive was a 25 gig drive. I'm gonna leave it as saying QCOW2, so that way that's already set. You need to put this drive in because you're gonna be replacing it, so you want it to have the right values. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about changing the CPU. I'm not gonna worry about changing the memory. I am gonna change this to my virtual bridge one. Uh, that is configured to work with my firewall, which is right over here. And that's it. You hit next and finish. Let it create. Okay, now that it's actually set up and ready to go, you can go to your VM, you can see the hardware here. Um, so now we're gonna switch over and go to PuTTY. Using PuTTY, we're gonna basically be putting in this command here, which I'm gonna copy and paste. And what this is, is we're calling QEMU-image. We're converting it to QCOW2. This is the path where the image is currently. And this is the path that we want it to be in. And now you'll notice disk zero, that's because the drive I'm replacing is disk zero. Now this is gonna take a bit, so once you hit enter, go get yourself a coffee or a cold beverage and uh, we'll be right back. And we're done. So let's go ahead and see if we can start up the VM. Go ahead and right click here, hit start. Hopefully we won't get any type of error. We can go to the console. And let's just see what it shows. Hey, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Waiting for it to figure out if it's going to load. And thinking. And thinking. <clears throat> and thinking. There we go. Back to thinking. Oh, hey, there is our prompt. All right, so that's it. Hey, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I noticed that most of my people that have watched my videos are not subscribers. To those uh, 363 at the current moment, subscribers, I do thank you. If you would like to help this channel grow, please make sure to hit subscribe. I'm not very consistent on my posting schedule yet. So if you would like to know whenever I post anything, please make sure to hit the bell icon and select all notifications. Um, you can always adjust it later. But yeah, that would be a great way of helping the channel grow. Thank you guys. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave that down in the comments section and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.